This is that second piece that I made and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Look at those edges. Nice and clean piece. I've just glued it down. So I'm getting ready to blend the edges away. No ripples like the last piece I did. Um, it's just an excellent piece. So I'm getting ready to blend the edges now. As you can see, it fits nice and flat and smooth. So I'm gonna take a Q-tip now and start going around it with my alcohol. Look how well that blended into the edges. Oh, that one just turned out really pretty. All right, so now I am gonna start coloring this. First of all, what I'm gonna do here is, you can see how it's kind of shiny. I'm gonna add some translucent powder to it to kind of take the shine away a little bit, and then I'll be able to start working on the makeup. This is a good color for my skin. Okay, I've taken away a little bit of the shine, just a little bit, and now I'm gonna start uh, working on this uh, piece. I'm going to start using some of the Encore colors here on this palette. I'm starting with a, I'm starting with a bruised look here. I'm going to try that first, and then I'm going to go from there. And I'm just going to add a little bit around it like this, and then what I do is I'm going to add a wash to this. So I'm going to dip my brush in my alcohol now, take away a lot of that color, and now I'm going to go ahead and blend that bruise in a little bit. There's different ways of applying the makeup. As you can see, I just subtly blended that away. I just had enough there I thought that would work. I'm going to add a little bit of a blue now to it. Just to the edges a little bit and I'll, I'll carry it around just like that. Okay. And then, like I did with the last one, filled, loaded my brush again a little bit with some alcohol, and then I'm just gonna blend that away so it doesn't look painted on. It just looks like it belongs there. Just like that. And now I'm gonna take some fresh blood. I'm gonna add it to the center here a little bit. And it's a little washy, as you can see. I just need to uh, go through that palette and really rub that, that alcohol into it so I can load that palette with, with uh, blood. Okay, just keep going until you, you get the amount you, you like and then add it to your makeup. And this is a, it's a good, nice, moist, blood-looking color. And I like how it fills in the uh, cracks of, of the interior of the wound there. Now I'm going to add some of that uh, yellow that we were talking about earlier to the edge here. Just a little bit on the inside, which gives it the fatty layer that actually brings the realistic look to that wound. Adding a little bit more purple to the edge there. I just kind of feel it needs it. A little bit on the outside here, a little bit, just like I did before. And I'm carrying it into my skin because I want my skin to have that same look. And like I say, go through and blend it away. Now I'm trying to give it a little bit of a redness, like it's irritated. So we're getting it there, huh? And in a little while here, I'm going to add some skin tone to it. The reason why I'm going to add skin tone is so all that, all this blemish and all these bruised looks that I'm giving it will kind of go underneath the skin a little bit and look more realistic. So right now, I'm just layering colors on it, trying my best to just kind of make it look subtle, just like that. Now I'm going to take my skin tones and I'm going to start splattering some color onto my, my leg now.
Okay, see I loaded my brush here with uh, some color and now I'm gonna splatter onto my leg and just try and get the skin tone to just kind of like look a little more natural here. And what's good to do with this is when you do this, is take one of these soft brushes here and you can start pulling away a lot of those colors you just put down just so it looks more natural. And I, like I say, I'm going into my leg too because I want my leg to have that same look as, as the wound. And then I'm taking my brush again and just pulling a little, some of it off. Just like that. And it still looks shiny and that's okay because we will be taking our translucent powder in a little bit and taking it down. So now I'm going to use a little bit darker color. So I'm taking a little bit darker color now to spatter just lightly. Put some on there. Like I say, I'm not doing a lot. I actually loaded some alcohol in this sponge so that it can pull it away just a little bit. If you think it's a little too much, now just pull it away just a little bit. Just like that. And looking at it, I think I'm going to add a little more yellow to the inside because it just doesn't look as yellow as I want it. I've been working with some darker colors so it's taken a lot of the uh, lighter colors away. So I'm touching it back up again with some of the yellow just so it has that in there. There we go. Now I'm going to take my translucent powder. I'm going to powder it. Just like that. There's my wound. The first wound I did, my edge wasn't out so far. So I think it looked a little more natural around there. When you use a silicone appliance, it just flows so nice with your leg. I mean, that looks natural. You know, it doesn't wrinkle funny. It wrinkles with your leg. And that's a nice looking gash too. So, and you, you know, look at that. I can spread it open if I want. Look at that, I can spread it, and then you can pinch it shut if you want. I mean, beautiful, I love silicone. See, that's looking pretty nice now. And I love how silicone works, how you can squeeze it like this. You know, this is what we were doing with the last piece, you know, it just has such a natural look. People have asked, can you use gelatin for this same piece? And yeah, you can, but Gelatin will rip kind of easy when you start putting string through it and, and trying to make it taunt. So that might be a problem with your gelatin. You'd have to experiment. It may work just fine for you. Uh, it's just something that uh, I think silicone actually has a more advantage to the elasticity of it and, and the strength of it compared to gelatin. And, and, and it's more flexible than gelatin also. So this wound now is going to start getting ready to be sewn up. Okay, And in a film, a lot of times, you know, if you do, do this in a film, you have to think about that as an artist. Is, and when you talk to a director, is you, you can do stuff to make it look more natural. If you feel like the edges are too visible, you know, that's how you do it. Or you put torn clothing over it and you expose just what you want to expose. But that does look quite beautiful. And if I hold it like this, it looks like it's part of my leg. And, and you know, if you stretch it up and move your leg around, you know, um, that looks pretty gorgeous. So now, I'm going to start sewing this up. Dig it, FX. Take this, and we're going to sew up this gash. Because I want to close this gash off, right? There you go. Ah, oh, that looks good. Okay, two, I'm going to make a knot. <laughs> 